birthday of punk rock this year, in case you didn't know. And by way of celebration, we've raided the vaults of one of the most controversial pop shows of the 70s to remind you of the way they were. Master of Ceremonies, Tony Wilson. The story begins, for television anyway, in August 1976. I'm the one in denims, the others were not wearing flares. One of the most reviewed and most reviled rock phenomenon of recent weeks. We got a few votes. Sex Pistols, you can hear them warming up in the background even now.
got a husband now You don't leave your pretty fingers lying in the wedding cake You used to hold him right in your hand I bet he took all he could take Sometimes I wish that I could stop you from talking When I hear the silly things that you say Students, reformed hippies and lovers of drink, clapping and shouting for poetry. Strange, but so is John Cooper Clark. Holding down a day job in the tool room of Salford Tech, he also happens to be just about the brightest performing poet, this side of Cassius Clay. Thank you very much indeed. How long have you been working here? Doing three, this? Three years. Three years? No ambition. <laughs> <laughs> what do the rest of the people think about you being a poet? Oh. All right. 
Well, not many of them now. You do now, we've blown me cover. <laughs> Are you embarrassed about being a poet? Not really, but I mean, people can get the, entirely the wrong impression, can't they? Poet, you know, it's a fellow that skips around with a butterfly in there, isn't it? This one's called You'll Never See a Nipple in the Daily Express, which isn't far, <laughs> far short of the truth when you come to think of it. I've seen letters that lost after immigrants' blood from people in Surrey, meaning nothing but good. I've seen fairy tales turned into facts concerning strikers' terrorist stats. I've seen how democracy is under duress. But I've never seen a nipple in the Daily Express. <laughs> if freedom is threatened by those who are free, then by all means hang them from the Tyburn tree. The lynch mob mentality must have its voice. This newspaper is its natural choice. Margaret Thatcher looks stunning, yes, but why no nipples in the Daily Express? <laughs> This paper is boring, mindless and mean. It's full of pornography, the kind that's clean. Where William Hickey meets Michael Caine again and again and again and again. You'll hear all kinds of ugliness in hideous excess, but you'll never find a nipple in the Daily Express. Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Right, kid. One of the many strange things about John Cooper Clarke is that the new wave poet uses the old wave technique of rhyme. Yeah, well, it's, uh, if you clear up that end of things, you know, it's, you say it's... What do you mean, rhyme. clear up the end of it? Well, you can get into all sorts of problems if you don't use rhyme. You know, you can be over verbose, you can, all kinds of things. If you use rhyme, it concentrates the images, disciplines them, and makes them accessible. But even without rhyme, he is eminently accessible, as in this prose intro to Cycle Sluts. This next disc. <laughs> Hipsters, flipsters, and finger-popping daddies. Concerns those pouting prima donnas found within the swelling J. Arthur ranks of the sexational cycle sluts. Those nubile nihilists of the North Circular, hell's bitch biking bells, those lean leatherette lovelies of the Leeds intersection. Whose Cro-Magnon faces and crab nebula curves haunt the highways of the UK. Whose credo of Whip crack justice captures the collective libido like a lariat, delightfully disciplined, done but deluxe, deliciously, deliciously deranged. <laughs> Well, in 74-75, Iggy's third album, Raw Power, inspired many of our now new bands. He's still inspirational, as you'll hear in The Passenger, but first talks of his supporters. You know, and uh, they stuck with me when I was screwing up, when I was a jerk, you know, when I couldn't, when I couldn't put out consistent product, when I couldn't talk uh, three words in a, in a row without falling down, when I wasn't doing good shows, they stuck with me, and, uh, and uh, some, uh, some personal friends did too, especially David Bowie, and uh, my mother and father, yeah, things like that, you know. The only reason I'm doing this is to get, uh, get my face um, on more screens, mm -hmm. to get my name in more papers and more print, and to um, expand my fame. But, it, and, but you are and, aware it's going to be problems for you, isn't it, later? And also to, uh, to increase my uh, financial uh, power. But, on the other hand... That's not the most important On the other hand, I'm determined, I'm determined... Uh, I'm determined to uh, enjoy this, and I can enjoy it only if I sincerely tell you that. You do provide something and give something. I mean, a lot of the people who were influenced by the Sex Pistols yeah, were influenced I'll... before by you, right? I mean, there's that influence thing that you've had on English music. Yeah, but but a lot of what I do is just is just the most inane, ridiculous. I'm one of the most inane, ridiculous uh, uh, dorks. I'm, I'm Alfred E. Newman. I'm a nerd. A nerd. Yes. Do you know what a nerd is? Uh, is there I a, remember his a twit? And... Yeah. It's not like a twit, though. The Mad Magazine. Yeah, the, the, the face I remember. You know? 
And uh, why do you think people want to come and see that 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 nerd? Because I work hard and do a real good. Uh, I make a really nice piece of art. Sometimes and sometimes my piece of art isn't so good. And I guess the reason I'm able to do that is because once I started, I never gave up. Rise. 
with a requiem for Roland Kirk. It is written by Charlie Mingus. This mule ain't from Moscow. This mule ain't even from the South. This mule has had some learning, mostly mouth to mouth. This mule could be called clever and lazy, but 
in a certain kind of way, this mule could be waiting, learning, hoping and planning for a sacred kind of day. A day when the burning of sticks and crosses is not mere child's play, but a madman in his most incandescent bloom, whose loveless soul is in perfection in its most lustrous groom. So stand fast, young old mule, soothe and contemplation thy burning hole and aching fire. Thy stubbornness is of the living, and cruel anxiety has begun to die. People see your album in my house and say, oh, he looks nasty. Do you worry about people misunderstanding you? No. No, I don't, I mean, not nasty. His visual's nasty, yeah. Visually kind of more, like, interesting than nasty, I would have thought. I'm not nasty. I'm You're not nasty at all. Can you do this lovely prayer for us now? It's yes. a busman's prayer, isn't it? Bus driver's prayer. Bus driver's prayer. Go on. Our Father, that way. That way. Who art in Endon, Arrow Road be thy name. Thy Kingston come, thy Wimbledon, in Erith as it is in Endon. Give us this day our Berkhamstead, and forgive us our Westminsters, as we forgive those who Westminster against us. For thine is the Kingston, the Pearly and the Crawley, for either and either Crouch End. The answer's yes at TSB. Wouldn't it be good? The Yeah! 
Offensive. We're not offensive people. The music is offensive to a lot of people, you know. And uh, coming from the north, you've got this uh, inoffensive, cap-touching attitude, which uh, we're trying to break out of. A lot of people appreciate the stance, you know. They appreciate the uh, communication.
The songs of fat councillors. It's all called Bricks and Mortar. I was about seven, really. I used to wear those party dresses that you always get caught at in a, when you're playing hide and seek. You know, frills and things. And I always used to get caught. And uh, I used to have shoes that cut the circulation off in my feet. I remember that very vividly. Why do you do it? Why do you dress outrageously? Why do you spend eight hours getting your hair spiked like that? Why does Picasso paint pictures? We'd like to dedicate this song to the Manchester Police Force. in the world I don't believe one of these stories I've heard about them raiding our pubs for no reason at all lining the customers up by the wall picking out people knocking them down resisting arrest as they're kicked on the ground searching their houses calling them queer I don't believe that sort of thing Happens here, not likely. Sing if you're glad to be gay. Sing if you're happy that way. Hey, sing if you're glad to be gay. Sing if you're happy that way. Pictures of naked young women are fun in tidbits. Of the sun. There's no news in gay news or one magazine, but they still find excuses to call us obscene. Read how disgusting we are in the press. The Telegraph, People, and Sunday Express. Molesters of children, corrupters of youth. Is there in the paper? It must be the truth. So try. to be Watch 
What's it like being managed by Malcolm? Malcolm, he's a really, he's a really cool guy. He learned everything he knew from us, from the New York Dolls, and just commercialized it. He's <laughs> a genius. What did you learn from him? <coughs> what I learned from him? <laughs> what did you learn from him? <laughs> a hard serious. question. Come on. Uh, I learned what it was like to be a, a nice gay individual. Nice girl, not one with a defect until a fan train grab so correct. Red box under legal legs. She looks so good that he gets down and gets. She is watching the detectives. Ooh, he's so cute. Watching the detectives when they shoot, shoot, shoot. Until the teardrops start Then he can't be wounded Cause he's got no high Long shot of that jumping sign Visible shivers running down my spine Got through baby taking off her clothes Close up at a sign that says we never close at you chewing your match a cigarette She pulls her eyes out with a face like a magnet I don't know how much more of this I can say She's filing her nails while they're dragging the lake She is watching the detectives Ooh, it's so cute Watching the detectives When they shoot, 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 shoot They beat him up until the teardrops start But he can't be wounded cause he's got the When it's past the legal limit Someone scratching at the window I wonder who is it The detectives come to check If you belong to the parents You are ready to hear the worst About their daughter's disappearance So it feel it's a miracle Get you to stay It only took my little fingers To blow you away Watching the detectives don't get cute Watching the detectives I get so angry when the teardrops start But you can't be wounded cause you got no heart Just like watching the detectives Watching the detectives 
watching a detective saying to people how oh, I think you're wonderful and people say people <laughs> complain and say things like you're simplistic or naive and I'm often I often recourse to saying well, what about William Blake Which is you know what what I was just listening to that thing I was just started to cry I've been crying for the last five minutes like uh, listening to that thing at the beginning the William about William Blake, Blake. like it's it's so funny that you would mention that right now 
because uh, if that makes me simplistic, like and stuff like that, then I'm one, because that little thing, little lamb who made me, that just wiped me up. When you're hanging by a thread Clutching and strong Ain't got nothing left And the world keeps shouting more. You haven't got an earthly Cause you're all bust up inside Nobody You can turn to This time no place you can hide Makes you wanna lay face down On the grass so brown Where the sun beats down On the baking ground To find
At first, the English New Wave bands seemed to be copying the New York ones, and now the New York ones seem to be copying the English ones.
Say somewhere that punk broke down music, but you mutate it. Yeah, we're the fluid in the punk enema bag. There is nothing else needs to be said. Uh, no, thank you very, very much. And they're just going to tune up so it sounds like the record. Who wants it to sound like the record? Me neither. Fuck 
plastic and the hinged together jeans why not well because i mean i just don't think that's what it's about i mean i think that's just sort of imitating other people and i think it should be a form of self-expression really and you know everybody should just you know, wear what they want to wear and not feel sort of that they have to go to certain shops and buy certain things you know like sedition isn't that who's on granada tv then <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. That's about it. I have nothing theoretical to say except thank you, Malcolm. I have nothing bitter to say except thank you for all the wonderful reviews. And I have nothing meaningful to say except what an absolute delight it was to work with all those people. In fact, such a delight, I'm still working with one bunch. Good night. They're called Joy Division. This number is Shadow Play.
to the center of the city where a rose meet waiting for you. To the depths of the ocean where a hope sank sitting for you. Moving through the silence without motion, waiting for you. In a room with no window in the corner, I found truth. your own death knowing no more you see assassins all grouped and four lines dancing on the floor and with cold steel odor on their bodies made a move to connect I could only stir in disbelief as the crowds all left Everything I wanted to I let them use you For their own ends To the center of the city in the night Waiting for you To the center of the city in the night Waiting for you 